So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I rig out my camera for corporate videos. Corporate videos require you to do the trifecta of cinematography. That's lighting, filming, and recording audio. We're gonna look at the items I use to create these videos and how I rig out my camera to do it. Really quickly for anyone that wants to get any of the items in the video, I'll leave a link in the description below. I also want you guys to not feel that you have to have these items. This is more of like a guide to help get you started, but if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments so I can help you out a bit more there. So let's get into this setup. My primary camera is a Komodo 6K. If you look at it from a bare bones, it doesn't look like much, but you can rig this camera out so many different ways to get what you want out of it. The first thing I'll add to this setup is the base plate that supports 15 millimeter rods. The one I use is from Small Rig, and I love it because it gives me the ability to attach a dovetail plate that then attaches to the Manfrotto plate. All I have to do is add a pair of 15 millimeter rods, which are also from Small Rig to create a beautiful and compact option for my tripod. The next accessory I use is the Tilta Advanced Power Module. I won't get into all the features, but a couple of things that I really like about it is the ability to use V-mount batteries and get a power readout on the Komodo. It gives me a DTAP power point and a control port for the Komodo control on my monitor. The V-mount batteries I use are the Core 98 Nano batteries. They're small, lightweight, and give me about three hours of runtime and also have the ability to power my monitor. Now my lens of choice is the Sigma Cine Zoom 18 to 35 millimeters. It's a heavy beast of a lens, but it literally makes everything look amazing. Let me know what lens you guys use in the comments below. My monitor of choice is a small HD Indy 7 with Komodo control. I have an entire dedicated video to this monitor and why I never leave home without it. The fact that it's seven inches and touch control make it just about perfect for anything. Let's talk about audio. I have a couple different audio options that I like to use. Depending on the setup, I use a Rode NTG4 Plus on a C-Stand and record right into a Zoom H6 recorder, or I'll record directly into camera using a DJI wireless kit. Either option works really well when recording audio, and if we're being honest, to be safe, I recommend always capturing two audio sources. Good audio will always separate you from the competition. One of my client's favorite things that I own is my teleprompter. And if you shoot a lot of corporate videos with heavy dialogue, it's gonna be one of your favorite things as well. Teleprompters help to save a ton of time when filming people that speak. It also helps to ease the minds of the talent because all they have to do is read. I simply attach it to the 15 millimeter rods that I have on my base plate, load up the script on my iPad, and then rest it in the holder and we're ready to go. Lastly, let's talk about lighting. Anytime I enter a room, I check to see what we're working with in terms of practical lighting and the ambient light. I will then set my talent up in an area that makes the most sense, dial in my exposure settings to the room, and then add light to my talent. I primarily use two lighting options, my Aperture 300D with a softbox or my Nanlite tubes. My Aperture light with a softbox is usually my key light, and the tubes will either be a fill or a hair light that takes my shot from this to this. For those of you interested in learning more about how to light a person for interviews or corporate talking videos, consider having a look at our Filmmaker Pro course. It's currently under development, but we'll get into all the fine details of where and how to set up your key light, how to dial in your camera settings, how to separate your talent from the background and create depth, and a ton of other key cinematography techniques to help take your work to the next level. I'll leave a link to our early bird mailing list in the description below. And for anyone that's interested in winning free stuff, we're also doing a nice little giveaway when I hit 10,000 subs on YouTube. To enter, it's pretty simple. First thing you gotta do is subscribe to my channel. I know a lot of you come and watch, but you don't subscribe. Let's change that. The second thing you have to do is join the Filmmaker Pro mailing list. Because I want this giveaway to go to someone within the creative space, you might as well learn how to use it along with a ton of other cinematography techniques. The third thing, super simple. Just follow me on Instagram. Then tag two friends on a giveaway post on Instagram and comment saying, done. The winner will be announced within 24 hours of hitting the 10,000 subs. Follow those steps guys, and good luck. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said before, my intentions is not to make you go out and buy all of these things. It's more for you to understand the techniques that are being used and then how you can apply it with what you already have. 
If you are interested in having a look at the things that I use specifically, I will be leaving the links in the description below. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy, guys. Peace.